So it's quarter to 5 a.m. Monday morning, February 15th, 2016. And uh, I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. Couldn't, I, I was tired, but I couldn't fall asleep. Uh, remember on my last vlog yesterday, three days in a row, baby. On my last vlog yesterday, I, um, I showed that pre-workout, hide. And I was like, oh, this shit's so intense, it makes my ears itchy, it makes my forehead itchy, huh, it's so intense. Well, after Valentine's Day dinner last night, uh, Andy and I went to the gym, so I, I took that. I took it at like 10 p.m. I had a big workout, and you know what happened? I, uh, I stayed up all night. I feel, and this isn't how I am, but I feel like... I've been smoking really strong hash every single day for five years at least and I, I've come to this point where I'm trying to do so many things at once that something like smoking strong hash only holds me back and I feel like I quit strong hash today and normally that's what helps me go to sleep and since I hypothetically don't smoke that strong hash anymore, I'm having a hard time sleeping as well. To the point that I would get up, go downstairs and turn the camera on and be like, yo, what up, it's your boy. Uh, you know, I also gotta say that I did watch a video of Luke Skywalker watching the binary sunset. And that also made me be like, yo, dog, like, if I'm, if I'm not gonna get up and get shit done at any hour of the night, any hour of the day, then, then I'm gonna be stuck with Uncle Owen for the rest of my life. And I don't like Uncle Owen. So on that tip, I came downstairs, booted up the camera, and I'm looking at it this way, I'm like, yo, a shit sleep on Sunday is just an early start on Monday. Granted that you're not like awake from some crazy drug binge or uh, you know, you're wasted. I mean, I'm completely sober right now, so you know, granted those things don't happen, then this should be an early start to the week. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's fucking Monday, dog. It's Monday. You're Luke Skywalker. You're gonna be a moisture farmer or you're gonna be a Jedi. That's your choice right now. You gotta figure it out yourself. There's always a million excuses and reasons why you shouldn't be a Jedi and you should just continue with the comfort of being a moisture farmer. But, you know, you be a moisture farmer, you're just gonna get blasted in the head by stormtroopers, Boba Fett, or sand people, depending on how you know you look at this scenario. Or, or, you just go with that crazy old man and you you make an adventure out of your life. I'm not just talking shit, by the way. I'm not just saying random shitty things. The type of shit that I'm saying right now is psyching me up too. Like, I'm kind of talking to myself also. I know you guys are listening, so it helps, but I am talking to myself. And, and like, I'm psyching myself up. I'm not just feeding bullshit. I'm not like being a YouTuber being like, yeah, I got my dreams, go out, get your dreams. Like I'm being like, yo, it's fucking game time. Monday morning, handle this shit or get fucking handled. That shit's got me fucking fired up right now. I think I'm gonna eat Andy's leftover steak from last night. That's how fired up I am. Actually, actually, on second thought, also if you watch my last vlog, ooh, making this shit continuous now. If you watch my last vlog, you'll know that Amir does not eat eggs and shit. So, I'll just go get breakfast actually in an hour, like I said. I'm gonna leave that leftover steak for Amir. Um, I guess, I guess you guys could enjoy this this piece of vlog content that I filmed yesterday during Valentine's Day, but I didn't have the time to include in yesterday's vlog. So enjoy this moment.
Well, it's Valentine's Day. You guys know I love Star Wars toys, and uh, Andy found a spot that carries a lot of Black Series, so she took me here, and I'm gonna go buy all of them now. So we just left the toy store that Andy brought me to on Valentine's Day, and we got a bunch of Black Series, ones that I've been waiting for for a while. And Canada always gets things last. So I finally got a Captain Phasma. What's great about this place though is this place sells them for $25. A lot of places will gouge and sell for like 70 bucks, things like that. I got a whole bunch of first order uh, Stormtroopers for $25. And I mean, this Captain Phasma sells for like 70 bucks online. I'm glad I found it here and I waited, you know, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna contribute to that, that eBay market. And he got Django. Strangely enough, it's a box of Star Wars Force Awakens things, but Django's in this box. Django's in the box, it's weird. It's uh, It even says forceawakens.com on the back. Well, not forceawakens.com, it says starwars.com slash forceawakens. So I don't understand why Django Fett is there. It makes no sense, he's from the uh, prequel trilogy. He's, he's decapitated at this point. I'm sorry. Han Solo. I'm joking. <laughs> but look at his face. Bring his face here. Han Solo, it's baby. Really good. It is really good. I'll take him out and I'll show. Most of these figures actually have like goopy ass faces that look ugly, but this Han Solo is looking tight. Finally, got that. that got that old Han Solo, baby. I'll pull him. With, I'll pose him with Kylo. And guys, this is the best part of the story. So you know, Harley bought a bunch of stormtroopers and he got all creative, and he did the three line bloodlines on the face like Finn, they actually came out with a real one. One step ahead of them. <laughs> one step ahead of them. See, yeah, they, they have the three bloodlines on this one and the helmet comes off. I uh, I already made this one, so. <laughs> I found it really cute that you did that. Isn't it, right? <laughs> but this is cool. And. Very cool. This guy. I got two of those. These are first order flame troopers. I also have the hot toy version, so I can't wait to get those bad boys. But uh, I got two of these dudes, so uh, I'm gonna have a serious pose down going later. Yeah! I'm thinking of Marlon right now while you do this. I, I was gonna say, this is a shout out to Marlon because I did it properly. Yo, shout out to Marlon, my Twitch community manager. <laughs> I pay him in Diet Cokes. Max! And obviously it's got more Star Wars shit. Man, I get I get pretty obsessed about some shit when I get obsessed about it. That's the truth. It's happened with uh, vlogs. It's happened with uh, Twitch. It's happened with action figures. It's happened with uh, Air Jordans. Oh, yo. Like, yo, it's, it's 5 a.m. I could also show you my shoes, my shoe collection. It's a little shoe collection, but it is one. And since I don't want to make too much noise waking up Andy way too early, I'll show you just my my Jordans. It doesn't mean that it's just Air Jordan, it might be Team Jordan, or it might be a Michael Jordan one-off or something like that, but I'll show you guys that too. Alright, so I just grabbed a bunch of my shoes, not all of my shoes, just uh, a bunch of my shoes, and uh, I'm gonna sway a bit from just Jordans and Air Jordans and all that. I'm gonna throw together, I guess, my biggest, heaviest Nike shoes, as well as all my Jordan-related shoes. So, um, let's get the non-Jordan ones out of the way first. So, number one is uh, my pair of LeBrons. Now, I don't play much basketball, like one game every two years, but if I played more frequently, I would use these. But since it's been about three years since I've played a game, I'm due for a game of basketball any day now. Um, these are badass. I uh, bought them to actually wear out because I like wearing uh, nice fancy running shoes out because they're very comfortable. And uh, you know, most bouncers have an eye for fancy basketball shoes so they'll let you in. I don't go out much anymore now, but I got these bad boys because uh, the coloring was cool and shit. I thought they looked really awesome. And um, I mean, they look like Transformers. They're just really awesome. I don't like every version of this shoe. I like this color. I know there's like a South Beach version, which is like uh, pink and all that shit, but I like this one. I got these shoes when we first moved to LA, uh, Epic Mealtime, like three years ago. 
and they're really badass. Uh, they have a Kobe logo there. I'm not quite sure what they are, but they're eggplant foam posit, it said on the box. Now, they're kind of like the foam posits, but not that those expensive foam posits that you see that, you know, basically have this design with the ripples and stuff. It is pretty similar, but they look like, you know, Air Forces, but they have the Kobe logo. And uh, yeah, they're purple, but they have like a crazy shine to them. And the reason why I thought they were so cool was this is all one piece. This whole thing is all one piece and it's all foam. And uh, I thought they were fucking badass. And so I wear them here and there. And uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty subtle. You know, it's not like it has the Nike check there, but it's, it's pretty subtle. Just a sexy purple shoe. Now I'm showing you my shoes. I'm not showing you any of my Air Maxes. I did get pretty obsessed with Air Maxes and then I moved on to Roches. I'm not showing you those because uh, Andy will kill me if I start moving shoes around like crazy. And these are like size 14 and size 15, so they're not quiet shoes. These shoes will wake a bitch up. Uh, these are my boots. Um, they're really cool. They're like running shoe boots. They're called sneaker boots. I bought them two years ago and they're black and gray. Now they have the same thing, but all black. This is like kind of like a reflective gray that doesn't really read much on camera. It looks a lot darker on camera than it is. And now they have a completely, you know, stealthed out all black pair, which I kind of like better, but I'm happy with these. And, uh, you know, I guess I don't need another pair of all black shoes because I do have a lot. And they're completely waterproof. I like these bad boys a lot. I wear them through the snow in Canada, minus 30 degrees, so they're fucking real deal over here. You know, I'm not a shoe collector, I just got really into shoes to wear. I never bought these shoes to keep them or take care of them. I do know a guy who buys tons of Jordans, or did buy tons of Jordans, kept them all in their boxes and stuff, and you know, carried them for years. I think he's selling them now, I believe. Um, but. Um, I just bought these to wear so I buy them I wear them and I, I just wear them out seriously and on the topic of wearing them out I'll show you these bad boys first. These are Oreo sixes and one of my favorite pair of shoes in general let alone favorite pair of Jordans um, I love these bad boys. I got them at like a Nike outlet years ago when they first came out and these are size 15 and I when I got them they were um, I don't know, I guess like the craze wasn't as extreme as it is now where, you know, there was no lineups for shoes and I was able to casually walk into the store and just buy a pair of size 15 Jordan 6s at the time and, you know, no one really cared to spend 200 bucks American on a shoe and at the time I was teaching so I kind of, I kind of blew like, uh, you know, a couple days pay to go get these bad boys. And then I put them on my feet when I got home and I thought they looked dumb. So I didn't wear them for years. And then I busted them out about two years ago. Well after they came out. And it was really hype because, you know, I had this like fresh pair, brand new clean that I basically had kept in my garage for so long. And uh, they turned into my favorite shoes. They're so comfortable. They slide on, they're hype, they're great. So on the topic of Jordan 6s, the exact same shoe. It's just the Jordan 6 infrared and um, I got this as a birthday present from the Collective Digital Studios, aka Studio 71 as they're known now. Um, they're my MCN and you know what, we've, we've been with them for years. Uh, we've made TV shows with them, web shows with them. Uh, I know a lot of these guys personally and a lot of the, 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 the guys and girls that work there, I know them personally. Uh, you know, at Epic Mealtime, we're living in LA, we ordered them pizza for the whole office like once a month on a Friday. And uh, you know, it must have happened like four times or so. And you know, I guess they showed their gratitude when my birthday came up and they got me this pair of shoes that I've been looking for everywhere. And these shoes were like, I think they're like five, 600 bucks. You know, you can get them for cheaper or you can get them for more expensive, but that's how much these were got for. And I really appreciate it because you know, it's the same thing as this shoe. It's just this infrared version, and I think I put this as my favorite shoe because this one's a bit more of a beater, and I don't know if you see it, but they, you know, they're a lot more scuffed. This one's in a lot more prime condition, but like, man, do I love this shoe. Seriously, it's a great one. Thanks, CDS. I mean, Studio 71. I mean, the Germans. This is, uh, this is 
probably the most common Air Jordan I've ever seen around. Um, you know, when I was living in LA, I saw a pair, I'm like, oh cool, I bought them. And when I bought them, I, I had already seen them in like a billion vines, and uh, you know, they're just, they're everywhere. It's uh, the Grey Wolf 3s, I think. I think that's what it is. You know, like I said, I'm not a you know, collector. Uh, I like that like elephant skin design. Always happy with that. You know, it's such a, a trademark of Jordans. And when I bought these, I'd seen them all around. And I bought these with the intent of customizing them. I wanted to get them all blacked out, the whole thing all black. You know, still with the elephant skin, but everything that you see is gray and white. I wanted it black. I never got around to doing it. And then I moved out of LA back to Canada. What up, Canada? And uh, I love these bad boys. They're cool. They're beaters, though. I don't, you know, I don't respect them as much as my other Jordans, probably because, you know, compared to the infrared sixes, these were like a third of the price, uh, even less. You know, I think these were like 150, something like that. They, they're just, it's just a common shoe, or I, I, I at least think it's common because I've seen it around so much. But it's beautiful. Like it just, it's the type of shoe that just always looks good. Like it looks good with everything, really. Like, you know, my sixes, you gotta have like, you know, tapered pants at the bottom or your pants have to be tight enough to go in. I kinda hate when your pant falls over it because it's such a big top. This is more of a mid. It's less of a high top, more of a mid. And uh, it's awesome. I think it's a sexy shoe. Just common. But like I said, I don't care. I'm not a collector. I wear them to wear them. I get them to wear them, is what I meant to say. On the topic of that elephant design, um, these are Jordan 5s. And I don't know if you could, if it's picking it up on camera, but they are completely covered in that elephant skin texture. And these bad boys are sick. I mean, they're just, you know, I, I don't think you can go wrong with an all black shoe. It's so black out here, the camera's having a hard time. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with this all black shoe. I think it's really awesome. Do I say that about every shoe? Anyways, I don't think I'd buy the shoe if I didn't think it was awesome. So uh, this bad boy is just cool. I probably haven't worn them half as much as I've worn all my other Jordans, but I got love for them. Um, they were actually in an Epic Mealtime episode, you know, where I was washing it with a bottle of Cristal. So it's been a prop. So this one now has a place in culinary history. I'll show these two guys at the same time because I got two pairs of them. But these are the uh, the Michael Jordan uh, Barney exclusives. So you could have only got them at Barney's department store in New York. But then they expanded it to the Nike store in uh, Santa Monica and that's where I found them. And I bought this black pair and I actually wore them to the streamies. And they were so awesome. I thought they were so sick and such a cool shoe and nobody had them. And that's not something that usually, you know, is my deciding reason to get a shoe. But because I bought them and I'd never seen them around, they just were really cool to me. And so I went back and I got the red pair because at the time I didn't have this bad boy and I wanted a clean red shoe to wear with all black. And uh, I got this bad boy and I don't know if you could see it, but you know, the red one and the black one both have like this like uh, bacon weave crosshatch thing going on here. And they kind of have like that same puff that the sixes and the fives have. And uh, just a very cool shoe. Really, like I really like these. They're like, they're like classy. I really thought of them as classy. So I guess since it's early in the morning and you know I wanted to entertain myself, I wanted to entertain you guys, I give you guys a little, a little mini tour of my shoes. I have way more shoes. I think these were the most interesting ones, but I do have a crazy palladium collection and I do have a, a bunch of Air Maxes and Roches and if you ever gave a shit about stuff like that, you know how it is. You leave a comment, tell me to do it and I'll show you that shit. Um, that's, that's how it is here. That's, that's, that's the type of, that's the type of relationship I breed on this vlog, you know? I'm like, yo, what's that? You guys want something? Get out of here. All right, let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it right now. Monday morning, 5 a.m. Like, I give a fuck. Handling shit, you know what I mean? That's how we do it. All right, so before I start throwing this vlog together and, uh, you know, all you guys that haven't been watching for the last three days, you're gonna have four to catch up on or three to catch up on. I don't know. Vlogging so much, can't even keep count. What? Yeah. Uh, before I, I, I start diving into editing this vlog, uh, just some business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm gonna stream later today. I don't know if you guys know I do that. Twitch.tv slash Harley Plays. But 
I also have a gaming channel, youtube.com slash original gamer show, and Mike Asor, uh, the first guy to ever have a six pack and be on Epic Meal Time at the same time, uh, he's gonna be streaming on that today too. So if you don't know about my gaming channel, head over there and subscribe. If you didn't know about my Twitch, head over there and click follow, because on Twitch it's a fucking completely different universe. It's five bucks to subscribe. Like how fucked up is that? For like the first four months that I was on Twitch, I was like, what? Five bucks to subscribe? I'm like, who the fuck is paying for this shit? Meanwhile, I subscribe now to like fucking 10 different streamers because the emojis are valuable out there, man. That, that carries some weight, having those emojis on a, a Twitch chat. And, uh, you know, I subscribe to, to, uh, to a bunch of people on Twitch. If you want to know who I like on Twitch, just go to my Twitch, which is Harley Plays on Twitch, and just go see who I follow. Those are people that I care about, that I like watching, shit like that. But that's the business I want to get out of the way. Guys, if you uh, enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy that video, hit the like button or I'll fuck you up. Leave a comment, ask the veterans out there. I always read the comments, always. And hit subscribe so you get notified when I'm uploading next. Now, uh, before I see you off, I'm gonna go wake up Andy to go get breakfast with me. And I want you guys to come. So let's do it. You wanna go to breakfast? It's uh it's seven. It's six. No, it's five thirty. Please let me sleep. I don't wanna be fine. Do you wanna go to breakfast though? Not right now, it's five thirty. In thirty minutes? No, I told you six thirty. Oh six thirty. I thought you said five thirty. Okay. Okay, kill it. Dating me must be so shit. Like, if you really think about it, dating me must be so shit. Like, all I do is spend fucking money on toys, talk to fucking cameras, Snapchat, and when you're sleeping, I put the camera in your face and I'm like, yo, let's go get some breakfast. Anyways, when you really think about it, actually, dating me must be so fucking hype.